How much you pay for that shit? This cheap? It's an Harbor Freight. I think it might be under 100 bucks. Yo, yeah, one day we gotta go to Harbor Freight. I'm going to like $600. I'm going to the food shop. This is the one, eh? Yeah. I got another toolbox. Wait till y'all see my new toolbox. Y'all gonna be like, what the fuck? My new toolbox is the same height as me. Take my toolbox tomorrow. Job tomorrow. Yo, did y'all ever end up getting the motor? For Mark and shit? Yeah, we got the motor. They delivering it to my house tomorrow. When you gonna start it? I'm gonna start it next Friday. All right, world. So this is the spindle right here in front of me. I already took out the hub. That's the part where the brake rotor goes and the wheel mounts to. And let's take a look at the other one. You can see I removed the entire bearing. This is what it looks like with no bearing inside. All right, y'all, so right now I'm trying to get some gas. I'm about to put like $20 in here. That's what I'm normally what I put in here. Because every time I fill it up, it just drains right back out. But I'm not going anywhere for probably the next couple days, so all I need is $20. But yeah, man, I, I really do enjoy driving this car, but I can't wait to get in the Infinity. <sighs> right now, I'm filming on my uh, new camera that I just got. So I hope you guys are enjoying the quality of the videos. Um, I'm really trying to put an effort into these videos now. I'm really gonna, it might take me longer to put out videos because it's gonna take me more time editing them. So, like I said, I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys like really, really look forward to my videos when I post it because it really, really takes a lot of time and a lot of effort. The amount of money that I spent on just camera equipment and car parts alone, all I ask for is just a like and a comment. That's it. <laughs> it sound good. I said it does sound good. You wanna see the tape fall? Nah. <laughs> Alright guys, so I just left Best Buy, I just put a, col a color polarizer on the lens, 
Uh, those the color polarizer on lenses is actually really really good if you're doing like car videos car photography and stuff like that I always use it on all my lenses um, it just helps with like glares and stuff like that so if you guys didn't know that now you know but um, I'm about to head down towards uh, my boy Mike's crib hopefully they're still there um, they're supposed to be taking the bikes out today I kind of want to get some footage of them like riding and I'll probably catch them in the pack and stuff like that so we're definitely gonna see what we can get into for today. Today is Saturday, it's pretty nice out. I got the windows up with the AC on because it's kind of like, I think it's like 90 something degrees today. And I'm not trying to be sweaty. Like he had a rock in between his brakes. Yeah, Mar, you gotta buy this shit so I can stop saying my shit. Yeah. Damn, this shit new, 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 new. It's not well, man. That shit brown as hell, bro. Nigga, that shit all gotta come out, nigga. That's why that shit no good. This ain't holding it. Just let it gravity bleed. So let that shit just go on drain out. Use the other side of the wrench. Four stroke line. Yeah, fam. Four stroke gang. Full of liquid. I done my ass. I don't know four strokes, you know, so I saw no antifreeze, I put stuff. I just went to the reservoir. Yeah, I So I ordered this air freshener, it's like a spray that like you hit the tab and then it just lasts for like a couple minutes or so. So I'm going to try it out because the truck that I got, it does kind of have a smell to it because it's been sitting for so long. I ordered this off of Amazon for like six bucks. So let's see if there's any hype to it. You guys see it? It's an air freshener uh, from Meguiar, so I'll let you guys know if it's actually any good. So what you're supposed to do is, what you're supposed to do is, uh, well, that broke. I, I'm guessing you hit this tab up here, and then it releases it. So we're gonna go try it out right now. Like I was telling you guys, this car was my aunt's car. She had it sitting for like a year. And I was like, you know what? I kind of want to, uh, I'll buy it or whatever. And, you know, I'll just make it my daily. Maybe put some coils on it. Maybe wheels. That's pretty much it. I'm not going to go too crazy. I kind of do want to do the exhaust on this. These Infinities sound really, really good stock. But I'm pretty sure a good exhaust on there would make it sound even better. Um, so yeah, maybe just drop it just a little bit. Put wheels on it and call it a day. And this is just going to be the daily. It's all wheel drive. And then maybe I'll probably sell it and then get something else. Maybe something a little bit better. But for now, this will do. Um, I didn't pay much for it. So, I mean, take what I could get, right? Okay, so I have it in the car. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to hit this. There you go. Let it smoke up the car a little bit. All right, so I let it air out for a little bit. Still a little smoky in here, but definitely does smell better in here. That shit is mad strong. Oh my god! <coughs> Damn, that shit's done. That shit is strong. It probably lasted maybe like two minutes. <laughs> So 
So, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone, man. Your boy just officially hit 33,000 subscribers on YouTube. We're on the road to 50,000. Right now, I'm out here trying to film um, some just little cinematic footage of the S2000 of how it sits before we do the whole color change. Um, I am going with the 3M vinyl wrap. Um, so for those of you who were commenting on the last video about how the other vinyl looked cheap and et cetera, et cetera, it was a 3M vinyl. Um, but I'm going with the 3M vinyl as well. It's going to be a very nice color. Like I said, nothing too crazy, nothing too like loud. But just enough to where when you see the car, you know it's me. So doing YouTube, you know, it could be a blessing and a curse. The blessing is, you know, you could you have ways of making good money and you have ways of getting your brand out there, getting sponsorships, working with people, collaborating, whatever it is, but the bad sometimes can get to you the most because of you're constantly getting critiqued, you're constantly getting like people talking bad about you and you don't know why, but you know, I just wanna say I really, really do appreciate you guys. I really, really appreciate the people that come back every day, watch my channel, support me, buy my merch, buy a sticker, whatever it is, or people who see me in person and just like wanna talk to me about my car. It's fun, like I, I enjoy this. You know, so I'm on a road to 50,000. If you guys haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to the channel. There's so much more in store for the S2000. Um, I do want to pick up another car. I don't know exactly what kind of car I want to pick up yet, but I do want to pick up another car to start working on. And yes, I am going to be getting a big brake kit for the S2000, but for right now, that's just kind of at the back end of my priorities right now. Um, you know, my first priority was getting the car supercharged. You know, getting it running, working properly, clutch, everything, getting that all smooth and taken care of. Now I'm going to be working towards getting the big brake kit and everything like that. I am going to be doing a video probably sometime this week on how much money I spent on the S2000 as it sits today. Um, I kind of wanted to do it. I don't know if I'm going to do it this week now that I think about it because I want to do it once the car is officially wrapped and stuff like that and then put everything into one video. So we'll see. Uh, but yeah, man, I just wanted to say thank you guys. That's, that's really, really all I had to say is just thank you. Um, we're going to be, like I said, we're going to be grinding it out, working it out, doing what we got to do to get everything situated and done properly. Yeah.